Hello there, it's time for another another drawing stream. I hope all of you are doing well. Today is gonna be a bit more uncertain for myself because I have gotten enough practice in to be really comfortable with what I'm about to draw. Well, what, I'm, what you're seeing right now is actually not, not the thing actually I should. There we go. Um, yeah. So the plan for today is to draw some underwater bubbles. And they can be quite complicated, especially the large ones, which are gonna be like, they are super wobbly and have a very unique form. Um, and as I said, I, even though I have been practicing the last couple days, I'm still not quite at the point where I'm really comfortable. So the plan is that I'm going to draw at first kind of like a practice um, slash reference drawing of a large bubble that I'm later going to use as a reference for the actual drawing and hope that it's going to go well and I will record the drawing process at the same time uh, with a different window and a different um, software. That's the plan. And in between I could draw some smaller bubbles, I'm somewhat okay with those, so those should be fine. Um, and that should take the whole stream, if, if things will go as expected. Often I vastly um, underestimate the time that's gonna take me to make something, so we'll see how it will go this time. I should just take keep in mind that I shouldn't put too much detail into the drawings, especially the first one with, since it's gonna be just a reference and practice drawing anyways. But yeah. Also the chat might not really function normally. I'm gonna test it again right now to see if YouTube is showing up. Okay, this time seems like it's working. Before I started the stream I did some tests to see if the if the YouTube chat is properly connected but it wasn't but now it seems to be. It could glitch out a little bit at some point. I did reconnect everything so normally it would fix all of that but it didn't quite do that i don't know but anyways so <clears throat> i will i'm just gonna get right to it <sighs> hmm. I gotta say that this light here, the purple light, is very much in my way. Maybe if I turn the drawing tablet a bit to the side like so and I'm gonna be fine. I'm just now a bit um, turned away from the camera, but it doesn't really matter anyways. I'm like kind of not used to this position. Well. So let's see, so at first I'm just gonna draw the background and that I will do by just painting a bunch of colors and I have the color palette already prepared just by analyzing photos and picking out the colors so simple enough, I want to give it some curve And then I will smudge it all together later. It's kind of uneven, but that's exactly the kind of look that I want to go for. I don't want it to 
be a perfect gradient otherwise it will look it's kind of painterly look and this is also still fast enough to do I'm just gonna oh yeah also something that is new is in the lower left corner you can see also by the way kitty is gone kitty where are you where is she right now? Okay. Put this camera over here. Oh, what? Why did you get started? I'm just putting. Are you shy? Do you... Today you don't want to be in front of the camera. It's okay. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> uh, there we go. Just a little bit more. <laughs> there she is. Hmm? Poco. What are you doing? She is not quite calm yet. It's a bit energetic. But that might change. <sighs> What I was also trying to say is I am showing you now what kind of tool I'm using in the lower left corner. Um, so right now it says blend, so I have my blending tool. As simple as that, it's <clears throat> not anything special, but um, I have the, the layout set up like this. Like, I could just show you the whole program, the whole app. And then you could see everything, what's going on. The tool that I'm using, the, la the layers and stuff like that. But the problem is, it's gonna be super small. Be because also, I want to show the cameras and the chat and everything. So, the um, window for the program will be much smaller and my UI, my user interface, is already small enough as it is. Um, so on stream it would be basically basically unreadable. It There would be no point in showing it because you can't make it out anyways. And so that's why I have it segmented like this where I only show the drawing area and also the co on and the color wheel the color wheel i would say is uh, is important to see so you see what kind of colors i'm using but other than that the, uh, the, yeah everything else it would get too busy on the on the screen it's already busy enough as it is uh, and it's not really that important that you can see the the layers and and stuff like that it's Whatever. If you see me like um, tapping on something where you can't really see anything, that's because I have the color set my color palette displayed on screen like right here but you can't see it because this is own little window and i'm doing window capture and so therefore yeah it's not showing up and i sh i've tried to do a window capture for that in particular for the color set but for some reason it's just not working it is weirdly cut off um, and when, when I use another, when I use a different setting, it just doesn't show up at all. So, yeah. It's just how it is. So. so I'm smudging a little bit more so it isn't that streaky. It's a bit more smooth, but other than that, I'm gonna keep it as it is. Because again, I want to 
keep this kind of painterly look and want to keep this texture. And as you can see, it's really simple to do. It's just, it's just splash some color on and smudge it all together. You don't have to be precise about anything like that. No, just a, just a curvature, like the general curvature you have to get somewhat right. But other than that... This is supposed to be an underwater scene. So it's getting darker and darker the deeper we go. And up here we have the... I know the sunlight shining through the surface, but we can't quite see the surface yet. So I'm also not gonna il illustrate the surface itself with its own texture or something like that. It doesn't matter because I just want to paint bubbles. That's it. That's the whole focus of today. I would say this is good enough for now. <clears throat> we have the background and now uh, The large bubble that I want to make so for that. I'm also gonna look at references uh, Because they help a lot I just want to sort them right now, so I have an easier time looking at them So sleepy. Now she has calmed down. <sighs> so I'm not going to explain the drawing process right now all that much in detail. Because as I said, I'm still trying to figure some things out myself. And also I mean, if you want to learn how to draw them, you can later watch the tutorial itself, which is much more structured and and much easier to understand than what I could say right now. So, yeah. But you can, of course, ask me anything else. I would be happy to answer. So I want to have a relatively large drawing, but of course I don't want to completely overdo it. So I'm not quite copying from the references that I have right now, otherwise it's like a bit... Um, it's not really the point. I do want to be able to draw something freely, or at least semi-freely. Well, let's go with a relatively flat shape, shall we? And I'm gonna draw this whole bubble in just one layer. I could utilize several layers for like, you know, the darker areas and the highlights and stuff like that. But I also want to practice, like I want to be able to, you know, um, explain a way to paint them that is more applicable to um, all sorts of tools of of drawing tools 
So you don't need to have digital tools in order to draw this. I want to add a bit of wobbliness, I think. So this color here is gonna be the darkest color. And on top of that there will be the lighter colors, the brighter ones. And step by step, I'm picking out the brighter and brighter colors. It's funny, these large bubbles kind of look like jellyfish have a very interesting shape for sure also later I'm going to plan to add a bunch of smaller bubbles because just having the large bubble by itself is kind of odd because you like normally see it always with smaller bubbles trailing behind. I want to add a bit more to it. I wonder if there's ever is if there's gonna be somebody who drops into the stream and asks me if this is a jellyfish. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if this happens. Also today I'm gonna try to stand without wearing shoes um, because well the shoes are a bit softer they're not like the hard wooden floor that I'm standing on they're more cushioned and they have like this in these I made some like something out of fabric to make the, the soles even softer not the soul, so you know what I mean. I, I put it into the shoes and makes it softer. I don't know the word for it. Um, but I think maybe standing without shoes, just with my socks on, is might be better. Because even though it's not as soft, I'm able to 
kind of redistribute re uh, uh, my weight more easily because I have more freedom of, of movement for my feet, for my toes and everything. So I can like um, stand on the, what's it called? You know, the front of the feet for a while. I can kind of stand at the sides of it, like kind of um, tilted in a way. I can vary it more, and therefore, I give parts of my feet um, a rest, if that makes sense. For this drawing, I'm especially gonna try to get a look down that I'm happy with, so that when I get to the drawing that I actually want to use for the tutorial itself, and I'm gonna record and stuff, um, <clears throat> it's gonna look even better. And I'm also more confident, so in the recording you're not gonna have um, you're not gonna see me correcting things over and over again, but it's gonna be like more of a smooth uh, progress that you can watch. That's the plan. We'll see. Also, I've never really done recordings during a stream, so we'll have to turn it off and on all the time. And I hope I won't forget it. Uh, so, like, if I keep the recording running then it's fine I can just cut it out but if I don't record um, yeah then I just didn't record it and that's a problem <laughs> so we'll see how it will go the brightest areas are at the top since the light the sunlight is coming from the top Also, I'm constantly looking at things um, that um, might help me standing for a longer period of time on the standing desk and, you know, improve the general health so I'm not doing anything wrong and I might come up with some health complications later because I'm just standing wrong all the time or I don't know. Um, and I heard a couple of times um, that people say you shouldn't lock your knees. And at first I wasn't even, I didn't even know what that means, locking your knees. So, first of all, there seems, as I, after I looked it up, there seems to be a misconception because locking your knees is like an actual, um, like having locked knees. Uh, is a is an actual condition a medical condition where 
your knees bent so far back that um, um, what's it called that the, that your quads, the muscles above the knees, are constantly contracted, and you, you can uh, you can even see it because the knees are so far bent backwards that it looks unnatural. It's not when you're standing straight. When you try to stand straight, it's actually not a straight line for your legs, but like weirdly bent backwards, like. The, the upper legs are bent backwards and then it's kind of getting a, a bit bent forwards like uh, to, to show you like it's it's not like straight but it's like standing like this and then your upper body is like curving like this where it's here it's just standing normally straight so that's that's definitely not healthy how you achieved this kind of condition uh, um, wasn't really described all that well, apparently. But yeah, um, what what people mean most of the time is that locking your knees is like the state where you um, standing straight and um, to see, like it kind of feels like you locked your knees in. Um, where it's like it's it snaps in, and when you s snap it out, it's like a like a jump out uh, when you want to bend your your legs again. I have no idea if I describe it uh, correctly, but that's what people mean and that's like what people confuse with having locked knees that's actually not locking your knees it's just yeah standing straight <laughs> that's about it but you just need to be careful so you don't want to get to the point where as i described before you are not able to contract your quad so that's a easy way to check like if you first of all look at, at yourself in a mirror standing straight you should be able to see a straight line from your hip down to your knee and then to the ankles if that's a straight line then it's fine also uh, when you're standing straight um, and you can try to contract your quads which is simply by kind of lifting up your knees um, and if you're able to do that, then it's fine. Having locked knees is not that common of a condition. And yet people warn about it quite often as I heard, but there seem to be some misconceptions. So yeah, I, I am perfectly able to contract my quads I am somewhat straight with my legs when I when I stand straight um, when I have you know my my knees snapped in as to say it was interesting to read about this for sure yeah now I have a better idea. So the interesting thing about these bubbles, of the, about these large bubbles, is that they are so large that they have the kind of like a, you know, all of the bubbles have a wobbliness to them. But the large ones are generating their own ripples on their surface, and it gives them kind of a um, kind of a wrinkly look. You could describe it. As such, <laughs> it's it's quite interesting to see. Like bef before, I did the research and looked up pictures and all stuff. That, like when you would have asked me to draw a large underwater bubble, that's not the way how I would have done it for sure. But that's how they look. And there are reasons why they look like that, and I will also describe those in the in the tutorial video. 
as you know, it's interesting stuff and it's neat to know. It's not necessary entirely to know that as an as an artist, but you know why not? Just have to make sure that I, I don't make it too wrinkly looking. A, a mistake that I did with some of my practice drawings, I do have to admit, and it looks very off, <laughs> looks very weird. And yeah, I'm trying to avoid this. Also, the temperatures are slowly but surely going down. It really seems like summer is over, officially. At least in terms of temperatures around here. Um, it's getting very rainy, it's quite rainy recently and it's gonna be for the next couple of days and the forecast shows that we're not gonna get close to the 30 degrees anymore. Like, we're gonna stay below 20 degrees, fairly consistently. I know parts of me are kind of happy about that, of course. Um, because that means, first of all, less sweating in the bed when I'm trying to sleep, so that's always nice. But you know, it also means that winter is coming closer. And with that also the need to heat. It was an unintentional rhyme, but I well, wasn't able to come up with anything else. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's just expensive. It's just expensive and it's just how it is. And one, one of the downsides of having this desk now, in comparison to the mattress that I had before, where I kind of like sit, like lie and sit at the same time, um, is now that this is standing here, or like maybe sitting, is less efficient in preserving my heat, because when I was lying on the mattress, I was able to lie underneath several blankets and have all sorts of layers on me and I was able to isolate, heat isolate myself uh, very nicely and therefore I didn't have all that much of a need to heat my apartment up. But this here is different, I'm standing in the open, therefore it's much easier for my body heat to dissipate and which means I'm gonna feel colder and and that means of course I'm gonna need to apart I need to heat up my apartment a bit more than I have done so in the previous years and that is gonna cost me but oh well I mean it's nice to be in a heated up apartment so it's gonna feel a bit more comfortable for me in general but also i'm not really the type of person who needs to have a warm apartment at all times i was i was doing fine the previous years even though i barely used my heaters It has, in the past, it has gotten down to like degrees of four. Like usually, it was around like 14, 15 degrees Celsius. I want to point out, um, and I was doing fine. 
because I had like several layers of clothing on, several socks, and also a very a, lo a lot of like very nice like thick and good at heat isolating blankets on me and you know it was just most of the time lying on on the mattress in front of my computer uh, so that was my strategy and it worked all just fine but things are gonna change But it all is for a good purpose. <coughs> Sorry about that.
Certainly not easy to get these ripple shapes right. It's just doing a lot of trial and error over here. But that's okay. Another thing, more of a medical thing that I've been looking up was um, dark rings under the eyes, these dark areas, you know? Um, because I do have them, as you can see, and I was worrying just a little bit about them uh, maybe getting out of hand and like um, getting worse and worse and have like really swollen, dark rings when I get older um, first of all there is not really any worries about about it medically it's that it doesn't matter at all which I already was thinking like what what could it possibly do to my health to uh, of my eyes or I don't know what it is a symptom but it's not an illness it can be a symptom of stress, of lack of sleep, and stuff like that. But what I also was f uh, finding out was that it can be genetical too, which I didn't know. And it's actually fairly common. So it could totally be that I have them to, just simply because of my genes. And, well, I can't really do much about that. Sometimes I do have a bit of lack of sleep. Oh, hey, hey there, Eco. Nice to see you here. How are you doing? Eco, Eco, however, I don't know how you pronounce, how you prefer it. Doing okay? That's good. How did your, did your exam go? Hope everything went well. You had one like Thursday. Eco is okay. Okay. <laughs> like the like the game Eco. If, I don't know if you have played it. But yeah. <laughs> I 
brilliant. You mean your exam has been going brilliantly? Yes, wonderful. I'm very glad to hear that. And of course, just as expected. So, does it mean that you have more time with, for for making art? Is it gonna take a while until your next exams come? And you have a bit of a a bit of room to breathe now. That surely would be nice. You heard of the game? Oh. I can definitely recommend it. It's a very atmospheric game. And I enjoyed it quite a lot. If you ever fin find the time to play it. <laughs> or watch an LP of it. So if you're wondering, I'm drawing this underwater bubble here. It's a large underwater bubble, therefore it is a weird shape. I'm going to explain why it has the shape and all that stuff in the tutorial. Um, and right now I'm just trying to figure things out because I have been doing some um, practice the last couple of days, but I'm still not quite at the point where I'm really comfortable with it. So, yeah, so the plan for today is I'm gonna figure out this drawing here, try to experiment a little bit and try to get it to a shape uh, where I would say it looks alright. And then I might draw some smaller bubbles and then I use this drawing here as a reference drawing um for and draw it again but better and more fluidly without like me fumbling around and i will record it too at the same time and i can use it later for the tutorial that's the plan probably not because uni is starting again i'm doing a lot of courses but maybe mm, that's that's too bad but i hope university will go well And I hope you're also still enjoying university, learning about mathematics. If I wouldn't be so bad at it, I probably would still be in that field. <laughs> it has been fascinating to learn about this stuff, it's just... I'm, too, I'm just not suited for it, that's all. Mm. Sorry! I'm so bad with memory. It's biology. Yeah, you, you switched. Ah, uh, that's very embarrassing for me. Yeah, biology. <sighs> Sorry. I hope you still enjoy studying biology. <laughs> like. Did you already look at what kind of courses will be in the next semester? Or, or did it start already? It's um, it's still like normally it starts in October if I remember correctly. So, upcoming semester. <laughs> Are there some interesting courses that you look forward to? You love it more and more. That's awesome. That's very good to hear. Biology can be quite fascinating for sure. I do learn a bit of biology just simply because of my... my tutorials. Biology of... about plants and animals and stuff. Not really anything detailed because you know I need to 
um, tell it to people who also don't study biology and don't have maybe don't have that much knowledge in science so <laughs> yeah um anmelde phase is vorbei oh, okay the application phase is over i see How you're doing otherwise? Are you also still dancing and stuff? Or still doing that? I mean, I, I guess because of this pandemic, there probably has been a bit of a. There had to be a bit of a break in that. in that regard, in that field. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are. are dancing studios and stuff like still open or like were they able to reopen there's a lot of i guess there are some dances that you can just do by yourself so you can have like proper social distancing but those type of dances that require a partner um, are a bit more difficult i would imagine i can recommend looking at some pictures of ernst Haeckel for your biology research oh okay uh, let me note that name. Mm, pretty cool. I will look into this guy's drawings. You're not dancing anymore, don't have a partner currently. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, that's too bad. But I guess... In this year it also can, can't be helped. Oh well. Hopefully next year you can go dancing again. it been for you actually this whole situation I hope it didn't put too much of a strain on your own personal life from what I can tell it's like very different from person to person some are really struggling a lot of uh, a lot of people have lost their job and stuff like that and like, struggling mentally with this whole situation and then there are some people who don't really seem to have all that much of a problem other than some minor annoyances because of this whole this whole measurements that need to be followed Okay, if I succeeded to get 
34 ECT assets done despite the pandemic. Oh, that's that's really good. From what I remember, this is a large amount of points. So you're doing well. <laughs> to have been have your classes been mostly online. I, I'm going to assume so, but like um. Rather, I should ask, how, how has it been with switching to online classes, for the most part? Have you been struggling with it? Or was it easy enough to... to get used to it? Until June, but for June and July, they were at the university again. That was really stressful. Hmm. So right now it's pretty much back to normal. Or are they going back to more online stuff since we are we're actually in the second wave. Half half. Okay. I see. I also hope that the in-person stuff also has some kind of measurement so like students can sit apart widely enough and and all of that jazz. People wear masks and so on and so forth. They're flexible. Well it's good to be able to be flexible for sure. They're very strict about it. I imagine so, because you know, it's a university, people are reasonable there. <laughs> You know, they definitely would care about the, the health of their employees and the students. They understand the science after all. Especially the biologists, yeah. <laughs> Especially those. They really need to know. They're supposed to know. They probably also don't really have any cases of people misbehaving and not wanting to follow the measurements and the restrictions because they somehow need to feel the need to rebel and seemingly don't understand the, the science behind it not that you know of yeah that's good you don't need that kind of drama too in your life it's already Stressful enough this whole situation you don't need like these kind of people Just make it more stressful I hope at work it's also going well for you No comment. Oh, well. nice. I was assuming that it wouldn't go as smoothly as at the university, but well. I can't imagine what no comment means.
And yeah. I have been enjoying seeing your drawings quite a lot. Although you don't really have that much time, so you can't really make it that many drawings. But those few that I was able to see, I enjoyed a lot. It seems like you have been doing a lot of um, redraw stuff in your own style kind of um, challenges. So that has been interesting. Seems like, like you have been enjoying it a lot. Which is great. I love those. <laughs> yeah, I also like your your style quite a lot. It has a lot of like It's very picture book like in a way. If that makes sense. Relaxing. That's great. Yeah, drawing is also a very good strat, uh, like a good way to relax. If things are a bit too stressful, you just sit down and focus just on drawing and nothing else. And you know, drawing is a good way to distract yourself. You focus on the drawing, you, you focus on the colors and the lines and all that stuff that you, tr that you try to put down on the paper or whatever kind of medium you're using. Especially nice if you draw something that you really enjoy. Maybe some fan art, maybe some kind of challenge as you do. It's very nice. So Rolf, what are you going for, for the picture book style, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what are you up to right now? Are you maybe drawing at the same time or... Are you studying something? Or are you just like relaxing, hanging out while chatting? Just hanging out. All right. <laughs> Still doing fine, so sleepy. Comment to the bubble? Sure. If you have any feedback for me, then feel free. Still trying to figure things out, so it could potentially be very helpful for me. Will I make it more translucent? Um, not really. Um, models aren't really all that translucent. Uh, they have like a lot of light reflections, a lot of highlights and like more shady areas. Simply because um, 
you know, you need to keep in mind that the bubbles are filled with um, gas, with air or something like that. And they're in water, so there's light refraction going on, and probably you know what that means. Uh, so you don't just like look through the bubble, but it's distracted in all sorts of different ways. And if you have a very wobbly bubble, it's like completely uh, chaotic. So you have like all sorts of different shapes that you see, as in seeing the dark parts through the hell parts. Uh, the bright parts, you mean. <laughs> Not the hell as in uh, hell. <laughs> the hell parts. Welcome to the bubble hell. <clears throat> um, um, with dark parts, you mean... Like... The background dark, or... Oh, you mean... Um, like if bubbles are overlapping For example like this little lip here or something as you could call it You mean that you could kind of like fr look through it and see the the background like this dark part here Is that what you mean? The inner part of the bubble. Yeah um, Um, not all that much. It's actually, if, when I look at the references, it, you don't really see that. It's just, for the most part, pretty bright here. So I'm actually, I actually want to brighten up this lip. Looking at the references right now, and it looks, it looks pr pretty solid. Also later I'm gonna add a bunch of smaller bubbles that like are next to it or trailing behind to spice up the drawing a little bit because when you look at references you always see some smaller bubbles behind it or something like that. You don't see just one singular large bubble. <clears throat> I can imagine that would be very hard to set up and I'm not looking for a lab setup picture thingy you know I'm looking for something natural looking so uh, underwater not through a tank or not uh, something like that where also the lighting could be very different I'm also seeing a lot of those kind of pictures and they need to be careful about that because you know the light is not coming from the side if you like look through a tank or something but you have the light coming from from the top and everything around it is is water yeah. Hmm. I definitely noticed that I have less viewers recently and I'm gonna assume it's also because the school started. I know that I have a lot of viewers who are still either in high school or go to university. So they are all probably very busy now. I definitely know that a couple of people have been saying so in the Discord server. Do you like optics and physics? Sure, it, it wasn't really... Well... It wasn't exactly my favorite topic, but it still was fascinating to me. Um, with my specialization in photovoltaics, it was something that I needed, for sure. Um, and optics is very useful for what I'm doing right now. Like it was very useful with the 
water drop tutorial and it's gonna be very useful for this one here um, also planning like this is gonna be in combination with soap bubbles and I even have a another simulation if you watch the water drop tutorial I was showing some simulations where I was able to set up like half circles and light rays and simulate how the light rays uh, go through um, the shape that's supposed to represent um, water and how it's getting re reflected and refracted and stuff like that. It was very, very useful, the, the website that I found for that. Um, and I'm planning on doing something like that again with uh, for illustrating how light is reflected in soap bubbles and how the the, the the images that you see in a soap bubble when you look at it are gonna gonna be formed or established and i love talking about this stuff i love being able to put a bit of physics into the tutorial videos um because you know that's that's just I feel very much in my element. And it's not getting to a point where it gets like super complicated, you know, because then my viewers wouldn't understand it. They, they are not like a lot of them are not scientists. They didn't study physics or anything like that. They might not even have an interest in that sort of thing. So I keep it simple. And then it's also easy for me to explain and understand myself. <laughs> yeah, I guess my channel is quite unique in that regard. I can imagine that's kind of a hit or a miss thing for people. I'm sure a lot of people just want to know how you draw that and just tell me how to do it and don't beat around the bush all too long just show me what i need to do step by step and then bye bye <laughs> i'm sure there are a lot of people like that which is fine it's just simply if they're displeased with my tutorials then it's just how it is i cannot cater to all people to the to everybody that's just simply something that's impossible it, regardless of what kind of content you make what kind of videos you you make there are always going to be people who like it more and some that uh, are not really into it A lot, they can find a lot of other videos if that is what they want. Yeah, exactly. And this is what I always say: like, if you if you don't like my videos, then there are plenty of other videos. I'm not the only guy who makes drawing tutorials on YouTube. There are many, and many good ones. to think hard how to improve this picture what's the name of the youtube channel where you are streaming now it's called make streams um The command should work. Let's see. I 
Oh, no, that is the wrong link. Sorry. Uh Let me fix this and fix this right now. It shouldn't take all that long. So copy The crappy thing is with every YouTube stream, every YouTube stream has its own URL. It's not like with Twitch where I just use the same one over and over again. Like it's just a normal URL and that's how you get to my stream. So yeah. Over here. Close commands. You found it. Okay, good. So it's just... <clears throat> I see you found it. <laughs> On the YouTube side. But weirdly enough, it's not the chat that I have opened up right now. Huh? That's weird. Oh, chat. Oh, man. YouTube is not the greatest for streaming, for sure. But, you know, I'm still... So, yeah, I'm streaming to both YouTube and uh, Twitch at the same time, so... People can choose whichever they prefer. And... You know, it also increases my discoverability, so people can also find my stream on YouTube if they search for streams in general. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. But the tools um, that YouTube offers for streaming is... Uh, they aren't that great. Is this the correct one? Yes. The chat, the chat was kind of weird on my side, but it is the correct thing. Like, if you can see my stream, then it's it's the it's the right one. <laughs> uh, da -da -da -da. So, changing this URL and there we go. <sighs> okay. So I personally prefer Twitch for watching streams. Not only because there are way more interesting streamers over there. But you know... Um, it's just a better viewing experiment, experience. Um, but yeah. People have different preferences.
I'm, I'm using Clip Studio, also, welcome back. <laughs> Clip Studio Paint, I really should just write it on the screen, because this is basically the most common question I get. Not, not that you annoy me or anything, I'm just saying. <laughs> if you're more interested in, you know, what I'm using and stuff like that, you can look at my FAQ. <clears throat> where you get answers to the most commonly asked questions. And I don't know why on Twitch it's just giving me the link and not the text in front of the link. Maybe the link is just simply too large? I don't understand. Let me, let me try something real quick. Maybe, maybe, maybe. FAQ, there's the command. For the spam, I'm using the command again. Okay. So the, if the text is in front of the long link, then it doesn't show up. But if it's the other way around, then it's fine. Okay. I idea why. I wish these Google Docs would have a shorter URL, but oh well. Clip Studio, your favorite program? Yes, yes. Has been for quite a while. Ever since it was still called Manga Studio 5. <laughs> so... It definitely is my favorite because we have a lot of tools that uh, are very useful for drawing. Um, it might not be the best for painting. Although it also has a lot of tools for for that kind of style, um, but Photoshop is just simply more common, more popular, and therefore it has a lot more brushes and, and stuff like that. But you can make do very easily with with Clip Studio, and you know, Photoshop is, in other regards, not the best for drawing. It's I would say it's primarily just simply a photo editing program and for that purpose it's it's fine it's it's a good software but for drawing no not the greatest remember that yeah uh there is i think um a trial version that you can that you can try out maybe for 30 days or something like that and I think you just simply cannot really you cannot save anything and stuff like that and there were some other restrictions that right now I don't remember and if you want to buy it it's on sale quite often for half the price so and the, the base 
price is also not that much. It's just 50 bucks. A lot of people use Procreate. I have heard that a lot of people use it or Psy. At some point I would like to try some other software, not really to switch, because I'm, I'm gonna keep using Clip Studio, this is what I'm used to, it works totally fine for me and I already paid for it. I even have the EX version so I can, you know, make animations with it and stuff like that. You like Psy? Yeah, I heard also very good things of Psy. But yeah, maybe someday I will make a stream where I just simply try out a bunch of different drawing softwares and see how they work. Just give them a try, make some basic drawings here and there. So for this bubble here, I tried now to give it more of a kind of a, like an outline. So here at the top, it has a darker outline. And at the bottom it has a bit of a brighter outline. Um, which is not exactly realistic, at least for those like very natural looking photos that I'm seeing. But it makes the drawing look much better. And then like more distinguishable. So I personally like it. I'll just need to point out that it's not exactly the most realistic style but you know you can do whatever you want as long as it looks good and recognizable that's fine the outline makes it better yeah i'm thinking the same good to have some uh, What's the word? Now I only remember the German word. Bestätigung. Confirmation. Oh, well. is actually going better than I expected. So far I've been drawing for not all that long, so it didn't take me all that much time. So doing the actual drawing later should go pretty well. Um, I might actually call it at this point, it's not really done. But that's not the point of it, it's supposed to be a reference practice drawing kind of thingy. So, I like to give it some shine at the top. To, well, make it look shinier, have a bit of a color gradient too. Give it some kind of bloom effect. Um, I'm not gonna really do the, the smaller bubbles right now because they should be simple enough. I mean, for this drawing, for this particular one. Mm -hmm. So, so what I'm gonna do is simply make a little screenshot of this one here and put it on my reference app software thingy bam there we go and later I will be able to look at that to all right let's take a sh short break let's see how Hoku is doing short kitty break.
Which microphone do I have on right now? Uh, seems like I have both on, so that's not good. It's quite echoey. You want to have this one here? Oh, hello. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. You sleepy. You're not quite in a playing mode. So, I'm just gonna pet you. Wow, no, no, no. I'm so relaxed. Hmm? No, no. Good kitty. Hmm? No, no. Hmm? And I'm gonna switch over to sitting. So I don't know if um, I told you or you've read it somewhere, but I got a height adjustable desk recently. You can see the camera slowly lowering. I'm switching over to sitting mode right now. Or like in the table, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> you know about it already. I like it quite a lot. And I definitely feel way more active compared to my previous setup. You know how it looked like. Um. Although the table wasn't really that expensive, it just took a long time to set everything up and change everything, but other than that... It wasn't really an expensive investment for me. But definitely an investment that was worth it. And I definitely also feel how my posture is improving, because previously... Well, I was standing straight. What I was often doing is like um, being kind of slouched, and my my belly is uh, pointing out in this kind of this kind of stance. But um, now I'm getting used to just um, properly straight belly, and everything is straight. Um, because I've noticed when I have to stand for a long uh, period of time, when I stand like this straight up. It's actually less strain on my back. It actually pays off. So I naturally want to stand in this kind of stance. And, and so I had to like adjust myself over and over again. And this always was a relief for me for adjusting myself. And now I just naturally, I'm starting to naturally just have this stance, this posture. That's, that's good, that's very good. The only problem that I'm, that I'm still kind of struggling with is that um, after a while my feet are starting to hurt, the soul, or oh, the skin, it's kind of, kind of, it's getting too much and I wonder if I will have more stamina or however you would call it for my feet after a while, like maybe in some months. Or or not. Well, it's definitely always recommended that I keep switching back and forth between standing and sitting anyways. Uh, so, mm, doing one of those two things too much is not recommended. So I have this large stool. I could, like, lower the table all the way down until the very bottom. Um, and then just sit on my usual 
um, computer chair, which is like has some support for the back and stuff like that. But uh, no, curbing it all the way down takes a while, and then back up, and it's just annoying. So it's just curb it down a little bit. I have my large stool, um, and that's fine. And you know, my back is still doing okay. Even though it hasn't doesn't have an extra support, but I'm also um, doing uh, some workout for my back too. Every now and then, doing some exercises to strengthen the muscles, and then therefore have having more support in that regard too. Yeah. And you know, it's also good for my productivity because there is a much better distinction between my working station and my leisure station, as to say, my area. I don't know if you have watched the video from GrayCP... CPJ... I don't know what, what channel name was. But it was describing that, like it was especially made for this pandemic situation and a lot of people have to work from home. And it was describing a good setup for, for working at home. One of the things was that you have separate areas in your living space. So you have an area that is only designated for sleeping. Your bathroom, your bed. You're not supposed to really have anything other than, uh, you know, the stuff that you need for sleeping. So you shouldn't use your your phone in during in your bed or your laptop or, or watch something. Although I do, and for me it's fine, but in general it's not really recommended because when you when you then go to bed, you immediately ha are in the state of okay. I am in the sleeping area, now is sleeping time. And you like your brain knows that and falls asleep. Oh, hopefully. <laughs> and then you also have an area for cooking and an area for for leisure stuff, you know, for relaxing, playing some games, watching stuff, you know, that kind of thing. And then you have a work area where you work, where you have your computer maybe or um, if you craft something, then you have a crafting station separate from the rest and so on and so forth. So when you enter these areas, and they can be pretty much right next to each other even, but still, you are already have you have already have the feeling, okay, yet now I'm in the working station, it's and it's right next to my leisure station, right next to my couch, but still, you know, now it's work time, and I only focus on work. And then when I sit down on the couch, it's just, okay, now relaxing. And this is kind of like the same for me now. When I'm standing or sitting right in front of the desk, then I normally do that because I want to work. Also because, you know, it's a bit more exhausting to stand or sit here. But when I just want to play something or watch something, then I just sit down on the couch behind me. And it's still the computer that I'm using. Um, but simply because I just sit on the couch and don't stand or sit in front of the computer, it already has a different feeling to it and it feels like relaxing time. So yeah, helped me definitely out a bit with my productivity. <sighs> Alright, so. What I wanted to do now was, well, I want to make a copy here, well, actually, no. So, practice bubble. And then. Need to sort my layers. I will be done very soon with that. So. 
small bubbles. You have to eat dinner now? Right. Does it mean like you go or are you just getting dinner and continue staying on the stream? <laughs> Either way, I hope you enjoy your dinner. talking about it getting a bit colder outside but it's not quite at the point where it really feels cold in my apartment so to get rid of this here hmm. Hugo is still doing well it's cleaning time These tiny bubbles are definitely more simple. Don't need to worry about ripples on the bubble surface or stuff like that. Have some much simpler looking light reflections. And I'm, I'm gonna just make a couple of them. I might not use all of them for the tutorial. But some of them should be good enough. I want to make them all in a different shape. Also, in different sizes. <clears throat> Want to turn away from the purple light. It's definitely glaring on my tablet. Just a little bit. Okay. All right.
Oh, Kitty's gone. Kitty went outside. Oh well. Let's... Close the door. I have my rope here. <laughs> also because it has been getting colder, I'm switching to... And before that I have been leaving this door open, but now I make more of a point of closing it and keeping it closed as it means also always pulling it closed with the rope again. So that the heat stays mostly in my living living room. Still, de um, even without heating, it's definitely the, the warmest area. Simply because I am here in this room and my computer. And I've been looking it up. Um, while you're standing or sitting, there's actually not really that big of a difference between those two in terms of energy consumption. Um, then you... At least it was for a, a an average male human. You generate about 125 watts of energy. So, definitely not enough to heat up a room, which, like this room here, would n need something in the thousands. Um, but then I also have the, the computer, and the computer definitely can generate um, several hundreds of watts of heat depending on how large the workload is on it, how much, how hard it has to work. If I, for example, render a video, then it definitely gets quite hot. Meow meow? There you are. Hello? Meow meow? What are you whining around? Hmm? What is it? Mm, you went outside, made a poopy. What did you eat something? Mm, what did you do? Mm, we have to switch the camera now, huh? Alright. There's the kitty. There's the kitty. Yeah, yeah. Let's put it up here. Whoops. Not quite stable. There we go. Show yourself over here. Hmm? How are you doing? Ah, oh, you're stinky. You definitely made a poopy. Mm, you're stinky poo. Hmm? You're stinky. You're stinky, 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 stinky. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Stinky boo. Hmm, <laughs> cuddle monster. <laughs> She's so tolerant. She isn't <laughs> she isn't a fan of being carried, but she doesn't hate it, at least. She's just tolerating it. <laughs> mm, yeah. 
Love you so much. Love you so much. Mm. You definitely look a bit annoyed, hmm? Mm -hmm. Alright. Put it down. Now we're turning around. Now everybody gets sick. Ah, oh, elf crate. This so I don't get entangled in my own cable. There we go. Kitty. So those bubbles shouldn't take all that long. When I did the practice drawings, like a bubble takes me 10 minutes or something and on average. And if I make it super simple, then it's even less. And Kitty's cleaning herself, which is good because she's stinky. Okay, such a stinky butt. Damn it. I did a bad. Also, a movie I watched recently with friends, I watched Moana, finally. Um, you know, a movie from Disney, more of in a, like an island setting, and I definitely enjoyed it quite a lot. Although I haven't really been enjoying recent Disney stuff all that much, but Moana was very nice. 
I mean, I say recent, but I think it was from 2016, so... For me, it's recent. Like, it's not all, like, Lion King or something like that. Or stuff like... Like, stuff that is from my childhood, like Tarzan or something, that, for me, is definitely not recent. <laughs> But yeah, Moana is definitely a movie that I can recommend. We all had a lot of fun watching it. Perfect for pooping. Hello. <laughs> Wanna lick? <laughs> Is it so tasty? Ah! I wanna eat it again. I'm not supposed to eat my finger. Wah, 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 wah. Let me dun dun. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> That's what you get. What you get for trying to eat my finger? You want my finger, then you can get it. <laughs> what a silly boo. Something that I've definitely noticed is for bubbles like these I actually don't want 
too many sharp corners, sharp edges. Giving it all a general blurriness, a general smudginess. Actually making it look better. Well, these drawings here I'm right now not recording because I'm planning on drawing a small bubble, a small underwater bubble live. But a large one is definitely gonna be pre-recorded and I'm not gonna draw it live because it would take way too long, obviously. That's why I'm doing it differently. do it with the shapes and the color variety. Oh great, Streamlabs is glitching out again. Uh, sometimes it does that where it just glitches out and it only shows me the preview picture but none of the menus or stuff like that. And I can't really fix it, but I'm streaming right now. 
So, great! <sighs> well, at least... Luckily... I have most of the stuff set up with shortcuts. So I don't really need the menu right now all that much for switch, uh, switching between scenes. But uh, let me test it. Okay, still works. Good. Yeah, I hope I'm not gonna need the menus. <laughs> uh. Oh boy. Streamlabs. I hope they're gonna fix it at some point. Because it's certainly annoying. <sighs> I got a kid. Well, no. Forget it. I was thinking about showing it to you just by pointing my camera. On my screen. <clears throat> Sorry, burpee. But then I would have to pick up the kitty cam and then have to put it back and set it up so it's uh, nicely pointing at the kitty and it's uh, too tedious. Never mind. You can imagine it. I think that this part here is a bit too bright. Still not quite the best with the small bubbles, I do have to say. Because I tend to overdo it with the shapes. Like I have all sorts of different light and dark areas. And then it looks more like a marble than a bubble. a little bit of wobbliness just ever so slightly let's see welcome back you're done eating eating dinner what did you just get for dinner Done eating. All right. Hope you enjoyed your dinner. What did you eat? Bubble looks great. I'm glad to hear that. I'm still not quite happy with it. It's just like <sighs> it doesn't look natural. Not not natural enough. Somehow said before it kind of looks more like a marble so I'm trying to add a bit more texture a bit of a wobbly texture to it and not um, have the edges and the shapes in, inside being too sharp potatoes and salad sounds good good and healthy I also ate shortly before this stream. I definitely have to make sure of that. Last stream I haven't been eating anything or barely ate anything. And it, I definitely noticed the lack of energy towards the end of the stream. 
for sure. I mean, it was a gaming stream and I played a game that was very thinking intensive. So, was put, putting a bit of extra strain on me, but still. It's definitely good if I eat something before, even though it makes me burpy most of the time. That's a not so pleasant side effect, but oh well. What did I play? The last stream was pet themed, so it was very cute. I played three different games, one about kitties, which is called Cat Lateral Damage. <laughs> uh, it was about destroying stuff as a cat. Just knocking things over. Um, and another another thing, another game was called Pet the Pup at the Party. So you are at the party and you have to find a dog at the party and pet it. And then it's like the, the, the rooms are randomly generated and you have to find your way through by just listening to the barking of the dog and then pet it and then you get to the next level and so on and so forth. Um, that was also quite silly, uh, but also very cute. All of the pups were very cute, and there was one cat, <laughs> which was a bit annoyed looking. And the last one that I played for the longest time during the last stream was, um, oh no, oh geez, my rabbits are gone. That's the title. Yes, <laughs> it's a quite a long title. Um. <clears throat> You can also see the the VOD, the, the video that has been saved, um, either on YouTube or on Twitch. On Twitch, the VODs are saved. The VODs means video on demand, so the videos that are saved from the stream. And on Twitch, they're saved for 15 days. If if I would be a partner, it would be 60 days, but I'm so far away from that. So yeah, but on YouTube, they stay there forever, basically. Unless I decide to delete them, but don't have a reason for that yet. Um, yeah, it was a very fun stream for sure. Also, some of the developers of the last game, of the rabbit game, um, came over and chatted a little bit, gave me some information about the game, told me some stuff, and it was very delightful. What I'm assuming is just simply to get some notification when somebody starts streaming the, and the game. You can do that on Twitch for certain games. Um, and yeah, they simply just drop in when they get a notification. <laughs> That's nice. But that was certainly nice. I'm planning on continuing the game next stream, next gaming stream, which is normally on Wednesday or Thursday. Um, and hopefully finish it then. Because I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a nice puzzle game, the rabbit game. It's about finding the rabbits and solving puzzles to save them. It's very cute. Uh, let's see. I'm not exactly sure about this bubble. Mm. I definitely want to have the midsection a bit darker. And if I finish the game, the rabbit game, next stream uh, fairly quickly, I might play some other smaller games again from the bundle that I got on itch.io. Not exactly sure what though, which games. Or I could just simply switch over to Crypt of the Necrodancer again and play a few rounds on there. That's always an option. I 
I must say I like this kind of texture when it's kind of a bit of a more wobbly looking it's kind of looks like it's reflecting the water surface in a way I like it a lot I'm gonna keep it like that You see, even though I have been practicing a lot, I'm figuring things out, new things, right now, during the stream. Oh. Let it, better late than never. Let's say that we're done with this bubble, at least for now. Move on to the next one. Again, I don't want to spend all too much, all that much time on those individual bubbles. Even though I want to use some of them for the tutorial. Hoku has been quite, quite some work lately during the last couple of days because she always has been kind of, I, feel, I, I get a feeling that she just simply doesn't like when I lie in my bed. And whenever I do that she is getting always super whiny, just cries around, is getting kind of uneasy and I don't exactly know why because she she has food she has water and stuff like that um, but I guess it's just her wanting attention I don't exactly know she always comes to me and like just 
walks up right next to me while I'm lying in bed and just tickles me with her whiskers in my face and she's just looking at me bah, bah, bah. No, all the time maybe she wants to me to be active yeah it's just I guess she doesn't like it when I'm just lying there and don't move and don't do anything I don't know maybe she's worrying that I'm dead I I, I well, it's, I don't really think so. Or what she does is, if I lie on my back, then she climbs on top of me on my chest and lies there. And, and uneasy as she is, she's like, climbs down and up and down and up all the freaking time. It's just, oh man. <sighs> and therefore, I had some trouble sleeping during the last couple of days. Although today, I was sleeping fine. I was interrupted every now and then by Hoko again, but it was for the, was for the most part fine. Um, yeah, last night I slept for like I think. About 12 hours because I had to catch up on sleep. <sighs> we still don't quite have it figured out yet. That's what I'm trying to say. It has changed ever since Hanami is gone. Yeah. Not the easiest to sleep with her. The thing is, it's not like she dislikes the bed itself, because while I'm just normally active, she lies in the bed quite often. She likes it place. I have a kind of a tent built around it to darken everything and you know, it, it feels cozier to me to sleep in there. It's just my personal preference. Um, and she likes it herself too. She uh, she likes being in this tent and crawling under it and kind of hiding. But while I'm sleeping, apparently... Like, it's hard for her to just calm down and, you know... Just lie down next to me, or at least somewhere in the bed, and just sleep, you know? <laughs> and she has plenty of stuff to entertain herself. She has toys lying around all over the place. She has her bag filled with catnip and stuff like that, and so, yeah. But of course it has to be me who gives her cuddles and plays with her. I think it's also partially just simply timing based. Um, because I do remember on some days when she was especially annoying while I was sleeping. During, the, uh, during my awake time, um, she has been sleeping for the most part. So while I was while I was sleeping, she was especially active because she already slept so much, uh, which is not quite uh, optimal. And I guess what I should do is play with her more and kind of make her tired during my awake time. So that she is just mostly sleeping while I'm also sleeping. Oh well. She can feel the world isn't okay right now. <sighs> maybe, maybe. Although here is not really anything changing. Uh, like for me personally, not really much has changed since the whole pandemic started. 
my habits have been basically the same. I also have been buying groceries only when I really needed to and whenever I did. I was like always buying in, in huge portions, like as much I was as I was able to carry. So it's like whenever I go grocery shopping, I carry like over 20 kilograms with me back or something. <laughs> Uh, yesterday I was also grocery shopping and I had to go twice because I forgot the milk which I never do because milk is basically the most important one of the most important things of my grocery shopping I do so much with it and yeah I had to go twice but at least I have no more reserves now because of it. Because on the second trip I also filled my cart to the limit. And of course, the set and during the second trip it of course had to start raining which was an inconvenience but so oh well I mean I personally don't mind all that much when it rains that is if I'm on my way back home and I just can take off the, the wet clothes and change If, that, if I have to go somewhere else and meet somebody or stuff like that, then uh, it's definitely more annoying when I'm soaking wet. Just threw a dancing plant cell. <laughs> that sounds cute. Certainly would like to see it. <laughs> I don't know, do you actually use Discord? You do? Uh, well, if you want to, you can also join the Discord server. You know, there are a lot of other very nice people in there and you can also share some of your drawings in there. Why? Oh, <laughs> you just sent it to me, that's why. I was thinking, is it... Is it do, I did take my vitamins, I, I was pretty sure I did take them and sign it up, so... Why do I get the notification? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Certainly seems to be enjoying itself for sure. <laughs> Very cute. Very nice. Yeah, as I was saying, if you want to join and share some of your drawings and stuff, then you are more than welcome to. In case you're interested. Or somebody else who isn't here and lurking. Mm 
Ah, I see. <laughs> I see if you have joined. Uh, there we go. Also, like the, you can also talk about all sorts of stuff on Discord, and people are nice. Right now, it's a bit less um, active because, as I was saying, pe uh, school has started and people are more busy right now. Um, and one thing that you can do. Uh, one thing that you can do is um, if you want to draw something um, that is somehow related to me, fan art, stuff that you made with my tutorials or something that's related uh, to the stream, you can post it in stream submissions, in the channel stream submissions, and I have my own layout for that. Like this one right here. So as an example, that is the Discord channel. And from there I can show off art. Also the kitty is that's not right. Uh, I don't have access to the menus right now, so I cannot fix it. But yeah, I, I can also show off Twitter right now, but I, I, I'm not doing this right now um and yeah i can show off art live during the stream and have done so already for example the last drawing stream was uh, me drawing stuff with randomized color palettes so there's a like there's a website that's based on certain keywords that you give it um, you get randomized color palettes and it's quite a lot of fun and uh, a, an interesting challenge to come up with some kind of picture, some kind of theme based on the colors that you get. Um, and what we've done was simply uh, that people come up with their own ideas of the color palettes. I shared a color palette in the chat. And people draw their own pictures. And then later I show it off and show what other ideas they had with the same color palette as I got. And it's very interesting. And I definitely want to do the, this kind of stream again. And so... If you want to join that, you're more than welcome to. Would also be very interesting to see what kind of ideas you would come up with. Sounds fun. <laughs> Certainly is a lot of fun.
your face into the pillow. She does that quite often where she just sticks her face right into a pillow. And I always wonder how is she even able to breathe like that? I mean I, I, I know that you can breathe through fabric but still it's so hard. Making it unnecessarily hard to breathe. But somehow it's so cozy for you, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You can understand that? <laughs> you can relate to Hoko? Also something that I want to point out every stream, um, the music that you can hear is done by a lot of very amazing musicians, but there is one track that is by me, so except for that one track. <laughs> um, and if you're interested in them, you can definitely check them out, they, their names are up in the like. If I point right uh, like this, there in the tracker. <laughs> um, and you can even type in the name as a command, so exclamation mark Thunder Scott, for example. Uh, and you get a short description together with their, with a link to their stuff. And I can recommend all of them. They all make wonderful music. Some are more active than others nowadays. It's just how it is. I certainly would like to make another track again. Uh, this time something more chill. The last one was a more 90s, 90s retro wave themed kind of thing. More energetic. Um, and the next one I want to have more. A bit softer with pianos again, stuff like that. Uh, but before I start working on another music track again, uh, I want to finally be able to release the next tutorial, which already takes me way too long. I mean, uh, I definitely did not expect that Bubbles would take so much time and would require so much practice and research. They are way more complex than I anticipated. No, that's just how it is. I'm used to projects taking way longer than planned. It's nothing new.
Oh my god. On the wrong layer, of course. Alright then. Cut. Paste. Merge it. Alright. And I've been listening to Daft Punk a lot recently. Oh, it's a good band. For sure. Also, they have a very cool sound to them. I'm still figuring out the whole music composing stuff. It's pointing a bit more nicely on her. There we go. Has to be perfectly in frame. <laughs> and they have an anime movie as a music video. Oh yeah, but... Um... I think I know which one you talk about, but I'm bad with music titles and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah. So I'm still figuring out this whole music composing thing. But once I can make some decent enough music, I would like to make music videos in the future. So I make um, just some kind of background with some like simple animations and make it a video with the music. It's like a might know these kind of videos that are like study music, like lo-fi hip-hop music kind of thing where you have in the background some uh, some person just sitting on a table studying so, or like lying on in, in bed and playing some games or some kind of animation like that. And I can make something something sillier, uh, similar with my little mink mascot, of course. Um, and put my own music over it. Would be an idea that I love to make. And not only can can I, you know, ex have it as an extra video project and release it and all that stuff and have some more content for the channel and so on and so forth. But also I can use it uh, for my streams. For example, the starting screen could have that video. That would be very nice. I've been thinking. But it will take a while until I get to that point. I love listening to lo-fi while studying. Yeah, it's it's definitely some very good music for studying, for sure. I also like it as a background music when I just have visitors. And, you know, we're just mostly chatting. Just that kind of music is not too distracting, it's pretty chill. But not to the point where, you know, People get sleepy because of the of the music. Oh, yeah. Remember the music at the party where we met, but very sleepy after 12. 
I, I don't remember that particular music, but yeah, I could have put on something that has been a bit too chill. That's also one of the downsides of this new room layout. Um, I have way less space for visitors. Especially if something is going on, on the screen, like we're playing games together, watching a movie. Um, if you say that the couch is still close enough so you can see it properly, but you know, like maybe three people have can sit on the couch. And all the others would have to sit behind it, or I move the whole couch uh, first to the back, but it's also kind of tedious to do. And yeah, and the, the people that all the way at the back cannot really see properly what's going on on the, on the screen. Yeah, it's just... Uh, yeah, so... But also, I do have to say, I'm not really interested all that much in... in hosting parties anymore I don't know it's it's so much work and I cannot really properly talk to everybody individually which I normally prefer to do I'm not really a group person anyways so yeah well nowadays I just watch movies with groups of people online. It's much more comfy anyways, like you can make yourself comfy however you want to at your own home. Get your snacks, get your pets. Now isn't a good time for that anyway, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> that for sure, like... I definitely wouldn't... start a party during these times. I haven't even been meeting any friends this whole time. Ever since March... or April, whenever it started. Um... And also, I'm not planning to meet anybody until it's all over and and the vaccine has been produced and distributed and people have gained enough immunity, herd immunity, so that it's pretty safe now. Also, when when the vaccine is gonna be developed, like is gonna be distributed, I'm probably not gonna be one of the first ones to get it because I'm not part of the risk group, and so uh, I don't, I'm gonna wait a bit, lo even a bit longer. And I'm fine with that. No, I'm just just. It's all about being able to adapt just change some habits according to your situation and then you find a way to deal with the with what's going on Of course it's easier for me it's easy for me to say for somebody who is staying at home all the time anyways I don't want to sound um, hypocritical or anything something like that I do understand that it's I do it is way easier for me to adapt to this situation than people who still have to go to work at various shops and stuff and cannot choose. 
we still have to have some human contact. Another picture. Well, again, you can just post it in Discord and then I could show it off. <laughs> An even wider version. <laughs> That's a well fed cell, for sure. Are you gonna use these drawings in some kind of... I don't know, some kind of... <laughs> uh, work that you're... Some kind of, I don't know, report or whatever you're working on right now. And just, hey, you have a... Here, have a dancing cell, because why not? <laughs> I'm sure you get a lot of extra points. And this is for a poster that you're doing for the firsties. Ooh, nice. That's very neat. So you're also involved in some kind of um, firsty, like first semester program. Kind of like introducing them to the new university and stuff like that. I remember that I have visiting have been visiting something like that during my first semester where you know you they they went through the whole university like the not the university faculty showing everything off uh, talking to different people and gave you a bunch of tips of um, how to go go around and how to organize yourself and stuff like that and it was pretty neat and it was a, a, a way to make some first um, you know some first social contacts getting introduced to some people this definitely was a neat way for that although uh, from the group that I was in, there wasn't really any friendships that developed from that, and I stopped going to these uh, pretty quickly because it developed into a just mostly going to some pub or something like that and just eating or drinking and, uh, and that's it. And I wasn't really interested in that or like going somewhere and play something, I don't know. You're my, you're a tutor. Ah, cool. That's cool of you that you do that. Yeah, I would have been a bit too socially anxious and awkward to do something like that myself, becoming a tutor. <laughs> I'm saying and I'm streaming publicly, so 
But you know, it's it's a different deal to interact with people in person than online, in, like in this kind of setting. Your focus is not pub going though. <laughs> okay, I I would not have expected that. <laughs> Is this your first time that you uh, you are a tutor or sophomore? Are they also called? If I if I get my words right right now, <clears throat> actually, of learning tips, study tips. Hmm. A second time. Oh, cool. trying to remember but it could be that the one where I went to back then actually even gave me ETTS points even though it was like a very small amount but it could be like some courses that you have in university at least it was in my case just basically gift you the easy test points. You barely have to do anything and just get them. You just have to be present and that's it. <laughs> uh, it was... Like the... The amount of work to ECTS points ratio for some courses were like... They were all over the place. <laughs> I get them from being a tutor, but you only get them once, I see. Ah, yeah. I actually f feel like I remember also that that was the case in my faculty. And if you're a tutor, you also get XCTS points. Hmm. Of course, it does th certainly makes more sense that you get ECTS points as a tutor and not as a firsty. <laughs> as a firsty, I'd like, oh, okay. Unless in your case it like has some kind of program where the firsties need to do something, like they, they need to, like at the end they have to make some kind of presentation, I don't know, some kind of report. But I, I don't exactly think that uh, that would be the point of it. The point is just to introduce them and not give them extra work for the first semester. I think that would rather scare them off. <laughs> At least some of them. And how has your, your first time as a tutor been going, by the way? Did you get some some nice firsties? <laughs> some nice newcomers. Let's say newcomers. Firsty kind of <laughs> sounds weird to me. That's good. <laughs> oh, 
yeah, especially in your first semester years. You're very, like a lot of people are very motivated. It's always, of course, it's good if you can stay motivated over the whole course of, until you get your degree. Didn't quite work out for me, although I wasn't very motivated myself during my first semesters. But oh well. I feel like switching over to standing again. So it's always a switching back and forth between my butt hurting and my feet hurting. And that's just how it is. I mean, when I was just on my mattress and streaming like that, it was always just my butt hurting and. But I didn't, I wasn't really able to switch back and forth, so in the end it like was really hurting, and also kind of my back in a way. It was not, very, not the best posture for sure. Also I'm sorry for the squeaking. Up we go. I also <laughs> kind of think like, having making some kind of elevator music music like track for whenever i'm going up or down with my with my desk it would be kind of silly <laughs> i think also at this point um i'm gonna do a very short break because but well, need to go somewhere oh uh well, that's a good point, <laughs> good timing then. I'm gonna continue reading my book and I went and go to sleep. I wish you a lot of fun with the rest of your bubbles. Thank you. It was very nice chatting with you. <clears throat> enjoy, enjoy your book and have a good night. And hopefully see you next time. All right, no, I'm gonna go take a break myself. Bye bye. Not bye bye here for the stream, but just by eco. <laughs>
And I'm back. Let's have a slightly longer break with the kitty. Also, so that I can sit down on the couch. Certain demise. Oops. Don't knock over the camera. How are you doing, hmm? You're sleepy. No, you're sleepy. Mm. Doesn't quite like that. <laughs> but it's so funny. Mm. Meow meow. Mrs. Meow meow. How are you doing? Mrs. Cuddleboo. Mm -hmm. You're such a cuddle monster. You're so floof. If there would be any kind of way to make you able to feel her fur, her soft fur, then I would love to. It's so soft. Such a soft fur. Ooh. You're such a floof. Such a precious little floof. Mm -hmm. She definitely has the the fluffiest fur out of all cats that I owned previously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh no. If you would like that, if I if I pinch the nose a little bit, you don't like that. Ooh, no, no. Am I annoying? Am I annoying? Mm, certainly am. <laughs> but it's so funny. So funny to play around with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good. Okay. Keep on sleeping. Let's get back to the drawing. Although I've been noticing that the chat is not quite aligned how it should be in the be right back screen. I need to fix that. I can't do that right now because I don't have any menus on Streamlabs. <sighs> but I will do so later if I remember. Let's turn around because I don't know. I don't feel quite comfortable if a cat is uh, not a cat, a camera is pointing at my back back of my feet or my my behind no no thanks <sighs> All right, let's continue we're about halfway done with the small bubbles and then we'll get to the large one and then We'll see how that will go. I'm fairly happy with how the, the smaller bubbles look like now. Definitely a nice idea to give it like kind of a a wobbly texture to them. I also want to soften the edges a little bit. I can actually do this with the blur tool instead. 
it's easier. There we go. He's gone. I guess she has had enough mm. with my shenanigans. She's just sitting on the floor cleaning herself. Maybe she goes to a different spot. Maybe she goes outside. We'll see. We'll check on her in a few minutes. I have to say, I'm still playing Mario, Paper Mario. I'm still not done with that game. It just takes me so long. It's just. Well, first of all, I don't really find the time of just sitting down and playing some game. I mean, I could find the time easily, but you know, there's so much other stuff that I need to do, and therefore I kind of feel guilty every time when. When, you know, I just sit down and play games. And there hasn't been a tutorial out for, uh, for a long time, and... There are other stuff I need to set up, and this is... Uh, I feel kind of guilty. But also, I do have to say that the game is quite long. Which is nice. Because I've been enjoying it quite a lot, and basically the whole way through so far, I've been enjoying it a lot, quite a lot. Um, and you know, this, that kind of game is more enjoyable for me if I always play it in kind of bite sizes. It's not a game that I would play for, you know, more than three hours at once. But you know, just like one hour a piece, a session. And then I'm done. It's just that there are so many other games that I would like to play, I would like to start and just don't have the time for it. I don't even have really the time for watching LPs. You know, I'm having streams on and LPs on all the time while I'm working, while I'm drawing stuff, but in that case I can't really watch them actively. It's just running in the background and I'm listening it to it while I'm focusing on other stuff. So I normally miss quite a lot of stuff. So, and if I want to experience a game in that way, watching somebody else play it, um, then, you know, I would have to actually watch it and would need to f sit down for that, which I... I can't I can only really do while I'm eating something because I can't draw and eat at the same time uh, I wouldn't know how to do that I mean there are ways for sure like like taking a spoon and then chew while I'm drawing but that's I, I don't want to do that it's when I'm eating then it's also a break time for me Hoko, Hoko is cutting back. 
Let's set up the panel again. I'm just meowing. Just meowing. What are you wife is about, huh? But where are you going now? Who is it? Hmm? Little boo. Turn the camera like this so if she does decide to sit down, well, just as I said it, she's getting back to the chair. Hmm? Wanna jump on there? Yes. Okay. Sometimes she doesn't know what she wants herself. No, no, don't scratch. Don't scratch. The monster. I need more cameras. <laughs> I need to have five cameras or something for every little, little spot where she normally sits on. Oh well. <laughs> That's just how it is having a kitty cam. I can at least I can at least switch back between two cameras. Was it O? Nope. It was L. There. Can see my foot, oh no! Because I don't want to set up the camera also like down there all the time, so I have a second camera for that.
quite happy with the shapes here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Relaxing again. She also doesn't like it when I touch her paws. Just like, no, no, you need to hide it. <laughs>
Proof. Thank you for the follows. Uh, the Streamlabs is not working properly, so I need to <laughs> look up the notification somewhere else. A troll hello. Thank you a lot for the follow. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Oh, no, Clip Studio is a bit glitchy for some reason. Let's see. Mm, I think it's lagging a little bit. Let's wait a little. Okay, that's. No, that's no, fine. Weird. <clears throat> What's Kitty doing? She's doing that. She's sleeping now. I'm not quite happy with this particular bubble here, and I can't quite figure out why. As bubbles, thank you. I'm also still partially in the process of figuring things out, even though I practiced a lot during the past couple of days. But well, that's just how it is. As long as the result of today's stream is going to be something presentable, then it's good enough. Um, so right now I'm drawing these smaller bubbles, which are um, still fairly simple to draw. There is too much of a difficulty, but before that I've been drawing a practice drawing of a large bubble, which is definitely way more complicated. Again, shortly show it off, and it's just more of a quickly drawn one so I didn't do any detail work for it, I just plopped down a bunch of, of, of the basic colors in order to figure out some kind of basic shape for this large bubble and then behind it there should be a lot of smaller ones and the edges shouldn't be as sharp and so on and so forth. But this is just a practice drawing and I will use it as reference for later once I'm done with the small bubbles here, these ones. I'm going to switch to making another large bubble with the help of the reference that I drew. And hopefully it will go well. And I will make a drawing that I can use for my bubble tutorial, my bubble drawing tutorial. It is upcoming. I'm also going to record the drawing process at the same time. I can have a separate, a separate recording of it. That's gonna be interesting. Let's see if I record anything useful. But also, if you have any questions, and really any questions, doesn't have to be related to what I'm drawing right now, you can just go ahead and ask me. This is also part of the reason why I stream, so people can ask me stuff.
And are you an artist yourself? It's all I do. Do you maybe also draw? Or you do something other, something else creatively? I'm very interested in basically any um, art medium. May it be wood carving, sculpting with clay, sewing, knitting, or, or whatever it is. I'm also watching a lot of other streamers, other creative streamers who are woodworking, who make like little sculptures out of wood um, or make some rele relief carvings. I follow cosplayers and plushie makers. I follow of course also other painters and digital artists and stuff like that. I follow sculptors who use some kind of like special clay in order to make little sculptures and they're really cool looking of some creatures like some fantasy creatures and it's really awesome Twitch is definitely a cool place for checking out all sorts of cool creative stuff
Oh man, I just really want to move on from this bubble. This has been taking me way too long. I'm just not quite happy with it. Let's add the shine on it. Could make the difference that I desire. Well, anyways. I might just simply not show this one, per this particular one in my tutorial. And that's fine. I don't need all of them. Wrong tool.
again, I've been drawing on the wrong layer. Hey, cat. Nice to see you. What are you doing? I'm messing up over here. <laughs> there you go. It's fixed. Hey there again, this time on Twitch. <laughs> Hopefully Twitch will not glitch out for you this time. alarm doing good that's great glad to hear that also just now looking at the chat i definitely saw that restream has been disconnecting it definitely has some issues today but oh well it's definitely better to be on the twitch side today because it has some issues connecting correctly with the youtube side oh well Yeah, hopefully Twitch won't glitch. <laughs> Glitchy Twitchy. How am I? I am. Alright. Thank you for asking. Just trying to figure this, these things out and hopefully get some drawings together that are useful for, for the upcoming tutorial. I'm drawing these, these small bubbles right now and later on I want to make a large one. I already did a large one which was kind of a, like a quick practice drawing that I want to use as reference. The, f the shape of it was decent enough and I want to build on top of that. Now it will go well because um, very uncertain about that. Those large bubbles are complicated. They surely are. So you have been doing a lot of tests and exams as I was able to tell from last time. Hope all of them went well. Look beautiful, thank you. The challenge is that um, I also went, want to make them as realistic as possible, like realistic in the sense of, you know, the, the bright and dark spots are where they're supposed to be, so I don't just mess around all willy-nilly and although it might look good, it's actually not really realistic and so, yeah, I mean, I'm just doing that for the tutorial. And of course I'm, wanna, I'm going to say that if you want to draw the bubbles in some other kind of way, in a more stylized way, then it's totally fine. Just giving you the basics. And then it's up to you. You have to go? Oh, too bad. Hope you have a wonderful day slash night.
No, you do it. Once I'm done with those bubbles, I'm gonna do a short kitty break again. Before we get to the to the real challenge of today. This bubble is a bit too busy, too much going on inside it, too many shapes, too many contrasting shapes. It just happens so easily that you just draw too much, too many shapes, too many highlights, too many shadows. Is completely overloading it.
Hmm. I'm just not happy with it. Let's be done with it for now. If I notice about about it later at some point, I can still correct it. It's totally fine. Let's just simply move on. This song reminds me. I would love to play some Stardew Valley again at some point. Maybe I'll stream it again. It was the first game that was even streaming. I don't even remember how long ago that was. A couple of years for sure. Back then. And Stardew well, it didn't have the multiplayer and the extra content and then all that stuff. It has been added so at this point. But there is a lot of stuff that would be new to me. Because I also haven't really been watching Stardew Valley streams or LPs. 
Also because I don't want to be spoiled of the new stuff. I'd like to experience it myself at some point. And we'll see. Maybe at some point I could also play it with somebody else. Have some multiplayer sessions in Stardew Valley, that would be delightful. I think it would be neat if I could get another streamer to play with me. So people would also be able to see both sides going on in Stardew Valley. That would be neat. But I also don't quite know how the multiplayer in Stardew Valley works. As far as I know, there needs to be one host, and I think they need to get to a point in the game where they can build a guest house. I think that's how it is. But that might have changed at this point, there might be some more to it, I don't know. would need to look it up beforehand. This small bubble is gonna be gonna stay very simple. I don't want to put too much detail into it. Otherwise it would be too much. Like about this much is already enough. Alright, I think I'm done with the small bubbles. Not quite happy with all of them, but hmm. oh well. Should be fine. Maybe I'm gonna change something like the contrast or something like that. I could do some color corrections. But for now, let's have a little kitty break. Kitty. How are you doing? Hmm? Little kitty meow. Come closer.
Oh. Are you happy? Are you so happy? You're so happy. So happy that you farted, huh? Oh, this is stinky again. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. No little pooby boo. No little butt. So happy. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. And cat. Yay. Yeah. Kitty cat. Up with the butt. Up with the butt. You. You may go. <laughs> I'm so happy. Mrs. Mamma. So happy. It went crazy. <laughs> You're really going crazy now. You're just so happy. <laughs> oh my. Yo. Hey. Meow meow. Look over here. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> and you continue. Uh, but. So high, but there. Oh my gosh. Don't lose balance. <laughs> <laughs> oh my she's so happy you have to cuddle everything <laughs> such a little cuddle monster I haven't drank any water during the stream. That's not good. Yeah. Now you're over here. Hello. Hello, little boo. Joo, yum, yum, yum.
from now on. This side again. No. You just can't sit still anymore, huh? You're getting crazier and crazier. I'm over here again. <laughs> you sit down in the middle. Oh boy. So happy. Meow, meow. Ah, 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 don't scratch, don't scratch. Ah, monster. No bite. Run, 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 run. <laughs> wow. I should get back to the drawing. Uh, uh. It was a nice kitty break. <laughs> there we go. Crazy cuddle monster. So, as I said before, I want to do oops, the big bubble drawing. For that, I'm actually gonna do a recording. And I'm a bit confused. It's not the right screen is showing up. Okay, there we go. All right. I just need to set up my recording software, which is just another instance of OBS. show it once more I have this bubble here which is just kind of like more of a sketch actually like a quickly drawn practice drawing um, that I'm going to use now as a reference so I have it also right in front of me so I can look at it and want to use it as a kind of like a rough base for the drawing that I'm going to do right now which I'm also recording at the same time and I want to use the drawing and the recording later in the tutorial when it comes out. So let's see how that will go. <sighs> I'm a bit more nervous because it's getting recorded. You know, I want to have a clean recording where I don't mess around too much, but I know what I'm doing. Little kitty has your paw up. Hello, paw. Here's the paw. Ow. Think it crawls into the chair. Yes. <sighs> Alright. But, even though I say that I'm doing recording right now, it doesn't mean that I can interrupt a, 
I am going to pause and resume the, the, the recordings all the time and I can do this very quickly to have a shortcut set, set up for that. So yeah. And well, if it doesn't turn out how I want it to be, then I'm just gonna need to make another drawing offline. We'll see. She's still purring like crazy. You cannot hear it because it's, it's another microphone now, but you can definitely see it just by her breathing so, so rapidly. Like she's kind of shaking a little bit because of it. And you can tell that she's purring. <laughs> Oh, what is she doing? Chocolate! Alright. Starting the recording. Let's see. So the method that I'm using right now for for recording is actually I have the same um, canvas open. You, you can do that in Clip Studio where I just go to Window and New Window. So it opens a duplicate of your current window, your current canvas. Um, and you can choose on which one you're drawing. So what I'm doing is I'm taking that extra window, put it outside on another screen and have it in full screen. And I am running a recording uh, software to capture that extra screen. And it changes the same way as this window changes where I'm drawing on right now. It doesn't fluidly record all of the strokes, it's just when this when a stroke, when a change is done, then it's popping up. It's not like it's one line drawn, but it's just like bam line is there. If that makes sense. But for Fast forward recordings, well, well, where I just want to speed it up. It doesn't matter, but because you cannot really see those individual strokes anyways. Um, simply because it's just way too quick. And so... It's a nice way to record it, because then... Uh, not all of that zooming in and out and... and the turning, the rotating, and all that stuff is uh, getting recorded. But the zoom level and the rotation level is always the same on that other screen, on that other canvas. And it just shows the changes as I paint on it. That's exactly what I want. Because if I would do a recording like this and have like a recording of, I don't know, 10 hours, and I speed it up so that it's just one minute long. 
Um, and I would do it just a normal recording where you have all the zooming in and out and all this stuff. Then it gets nauseating. Because you have all of this hectic movement going on in this very short amount of time. And that's just too much to watch. It's just way, way too confusing. You don't really know what's going on. But if it's nicely zoomed out at the same zoom level all the time. And you can see the whole picture at all times. Then it doesn't really matter how fast the uh, fast forward is it doesn't get nauseating and that's something that I learned just recently and I wish I knew that earlier because it would have been very handy and I just came, came across this idea on on a, on a random chance, just like, hmm, what if actually, uh, like, what I was actually looking up was something, um, like some kind of way to record a drawing, like somehow extracted information from Clip Studio and make a re recording of the whole picture as a, without the zooming in and out and stuff. And I was wondering if that somehow is possible. The woods was very unlikely. And then I came across that technique and oh my god, that's, that's actually it. It's a bit, um, you know, you do have to have it open at some other screen. And it needs to be expanded. It is, like you cannot have it minimized, otherwise it won't show up in the recording. Um... But that also means you do need another screen. Because otherwise that extra window will be at the top. And it will always show up in the top because you're using the program. So what I'm doing right now is actually have my other software for... Um, for the references. Uh, as, as a... a set up so that it always shows at top and so although the second window is open and not minimized right now it's at above it are my references because they always show it up at the top and that's how i manage it it works it works and as long as it works it's fine And all of that might have not made any sense for people who do not use these softwares or not custom with recording stuff and and so on and so forth. But well, the the basic message the message that I want to get across is figured out a different recording method, and I'm very happy. That's it.
what are you doing? Hmm? You're still so excited. <laughs> oh, silly boo. Hope you calm down a little bit, Hoko. <laughs> She's still purring. I can see that. <laughs> so crazy. So happy. Happy kitties make me happy. <clears throat> Messed up again. need to take a short break need to go somewhere we'll be right back
and I'm back. Um, for some reason, my recording thing. Okay. Sorry, let me just set up something. Because apparently I forgot that my recording software also still had some shortcuts set up that I don't want. Yeah. So let's remove a couple of these. This is important because otherwise I might accidentally switch scenes while I'm doing recordings. Don't want that to happen. Gone. Nope. Nope. Alright. The only shortcut on the other OBS is start and stop recording. Okay. Just gonna do a little short test. Okay. Nothing is changing on my, on my recording software, so that's good. Hmm. Ah. So I can put this on again. Alright, let's get back to it. And also Kitty's gone. She has been following me to the toilet as always. She's back in here. She might be eating or something. Oh well. Silly boo. always has to use the chance whenever she can go into the toilet because normally the door is closed and that's not acceptable <laughs> all right then um, start the recording again continue let's see how this will go So recently, not recently, for but for a while actually, I've been thinking about getting a stream deck because this seems like it would be really useful for me. So for anybody who doesn't know what a stream deck it is, well, it's by Elgato, the same company who does uh, who makes capture cards. For example, right now I'm using a capture card from them. Um, that's connected to my camcorder. I can just connect my camcorder to my PC and and stream uh, the video through that. Need to have some kind of capture card. And I'm also able to like it's basically just a an HDMI capture card. So I can redirect a HDMI signal to my PC and that is kept uh, then um, recognized by some kind of capture software for example OBS or like some kind of streaming software can recognize it you could even use it for some kind of video chats like in Skype or Discord um,
But yeah, so the same company also makes Dream Decks, which um, are basically some boards with a bunch of buttons on it that you can customize. These buttons have screens on them, um, so you can even customize them in a way that you have pictures, certain pictures that you can easily recognize. <clears throat> For example, I set it up so a button switches over to the kitty cam, like this here. And then, right now I'm just doing this with my keyboard and have to memorize all the, the letters that stand for the individual scenes that I'm switching to. And I'm already, I have like over 10 different buttons set up and I always have to look up, okay, which, which letter is it again and then have to press it on my keyboard and in the future then there probably will be even more buttons as I get more and more ideas for stuff to do on my stream and I want to be able to switch quickly um, yeah and stream deck would be very useful for that uh, but I'm probably gonna wait until that whole Black Friday stuff that's gonna that's always going on in November. Um, because I've seen in the during the last couple of years, like very consistently, it always dropped down, like in price of like a fur and like to like it two-thirds of the original price. So I'm gonna be patient a bit longer, but it would be nice to have for my streams. But even for stuff outside of my streams it would be nice. Because you can also... Um, like it has its own software. And you can set it up so that some buttons switch to different button sets. So for example, you get the one that I think has 15 buttons. 15 buttons is not that much, but you can switch uh, back and forth between different button sets. I could have like maybe some, some keyboard um, um, shortcut for that or a specific button on the stream deck itself. And then all of a sudden, instead of, for example, like 15 buttons, I have 3 times 15 buttons or 3 times 12 buttons or something like that. And so on and so forth. That would be quite neat. We'll see. Things also might change. Um, in the next few months until it does get that discount. I certainly know that a lot of streamers that I follow are using it. And they don't really complain all too often about it, so I'm assuming that for the most part these stream decks work fine. It's just... One of the things is, and this is especially why I want to wait for a discount is they're not the cheapest and they don't really have much of a competition. There are some other hardware things where um, you can have customizable buttons but those first of all don't really have those screens on them so we'd have to use some kind of stickers or some 
the paper squares that you put under the, the buttons or stuff like that and it's a bit more tedious. And even those aren't really that cheap. Some of them are actually more expensive than than the stream deck and Elgato stuff. So yeah. So I try to remember like the 15 button one is like 150 bucks or something like that. In maybe even more than that. But well, that's not cheap for 15 buttons. I mean you get more than 50 buttons because you can switch between sets, but you know, you know. Um, but when it's normally on discount, it like goes down to 100 bucks. It's a huge difference, and so on. I want to make use of that. And you know, it gives me enough time to like really carefully think it through because. I need to be careful with my money and only make investments that are really worth it. This song also reminds me, one of the next games that I would like to play once I'm done with both Paper Mario and uh, Fire Emblem Free Houses. In Fire Emblem at least I, there's not that much left until I'm finally done with all the houses. But after that I would like to play some Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Because it seems like it would be an interesting game. I played the newest po uh, like main Pokemon game, Pokemon Sh Shield I played. And it was nice, but... You know, I'm really not that much, not that interested anymore in the, the main Pokemon games. And especially the newest one was just not a challenge. Where it, like grinding was so easy, leveling up was so easy, so that um, you were over leveled basically the whole time without even putting that much time into grinding. And there were some other aspects of the game that re didn't really excite me all that much, but I don't want to talk about it too much in detail, because, you know, I don't want to spoiler anybody. Um, but yeah, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, however, seems like a very different game, however. What, I'm, what I've been hearing is like a more of a has more RPG elements to it and I mean the main game also is very RPG like but like you know the more more traditional RPG elements and has some roguelike elements in it which sounds interesting so there seems to be some some stuff be randomized and you do several runs I guess I really don't know all that much about it, but it certainly sounds interesting and I definitely want to give it a try. And it's a long series, so if I enjoy it, I can also play it in some of the other games of the series. I don't exactly know 
with what I want to start. I definitely want to start with the first game, red and blue. And I think as far as I was able to... Like, as far as I understood, the remake that came out on the Switch was actually from the first game. So instead of playing the first game on a DS or a Game Boy Advance, I could just do, play the remake on the Switch. Be nice. The only thing is just I don't quite like that art style all that much that is on the on the Switch game. I don't know, it's just it has a kind of a painterly look to it, but it's... I don't know... I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's just not... I like I like the, the pixelized style actually more of the original games. It was just personal preference. And maybe if I give it a try, actually, could start to like it, that style on the Switch. Who knows? Then there is also still Final Fantasy VI that I want to try. And yeah, there's there are just too many good games. Too little time to play them. What is Hoppe doing right now, by the way? Stop the recording. Let me take a look. Where is she right now? Oh, she's over there again. Alright. Let's see.
She's KO. So far, kind of like the progress of this bubble. I'm thinking I'm doing a decent job with the ripples now. Let's see. Let's take a short while to kind of think what I uh, what I want to do next before I keep recording. Mm, some stretching. I should also definitely get used to stretch more often during the stream. In addition to drinking more. By the way, I kind of like how my water bottle looks in this purple light. Shiny. <laughs> Just something silly. This drawing is definitely a bit more stylized than it would be if I try to draw like a real realistic style. Um, but you know, since it's already complicated enough, I might as well change some things about it. Also, the way these bubbles look like varies a lot depending on the lighting and stuff and yeah why not have a bit creative freedom as long as I mention it during the tutorial video it's fine and yeah
Mm, it's definitely the challenge to get the, those ripples right and also the, the orientation. Because in the previous drawings I've been te um, tempted to just have the horizontal ones, they're just like following the basic curvature, but they can run in different directions and have some variety, having some variety in them. It's definitely something that I should go for. I gotta say this this version is also kind of experimental 
But so far, I actually like how it's turning out. Which is a relief. So it might actually be useful for the tutorial. It's nice. I gotta say, soon I'm gonna need another kitty break again. How is she doing, by the way? Oh. Need to adjust the camera again. <laughs> now you can only see her butt. I mean, it's a nice kitty butt. But we want to see a little bit more than that, don't we? Go. Now you can see the full round. The round. Mm, so sleepy. Definitely can tell there's a bit of a longer stream today, but that's okay. I want to finish it. I might not be adding the tinier bubbles um, behind this large bubble, but we'll see. At least I want to finish this large bubble. Oops. I need to start the recording again. You should also faintly see some textures in this shadowy area. This can be a bit more random though. Doesn't matter all that much. I also have been thinking of adding a bunch of alerts. Um, for um, for right now, the only custom thing that I have is for uh, for new followers. This animation that I also did years ago, so it's very outdated. And yeah, I would like to make some more animations for alerts. For new followers, for raids, for donations, and for donations, I also want to have like different tiers. I want to have different alerts depending on the amount that has been donated. That would be quite nice. And I'm thinking I would like to have a couple of Yoshi themed alerts. Where I might also use some of the sound bites of of some games like Yoshi Story and stuff, and I could do some funny, funny alerts with that. But we'll see. Um, I still need to get some ideas together. Hmm. 
it would be definitely nice to have some streams where I focus in on and on expanding the stream, improving it, making some animations for it. I think soon I could move on to the smudging. I have most of the basic shapes already set up, I would say. I guess I could make the bottom a bit wobblier. <clears throat> Let's do another kitty break, shall we? And then I will switch over to sitting again. I think I can feel it in the feet. <sighs> kitty break, so kitty is still over there. Hmm. 
Hey, Hoko. Ooh. Hey, they'll wake you up, huh? Ooh. How are you doing, huh? Let's erase the camera just a little bit. There we go. Now people can see your face a bit better. Mm. How are you doing? Sleepy, aren't you? So sweepy. So a sweepy boo. There we go. Uh, the camera is a bit unstable. Oh. Oops. Let me fix that. Hmm, Hoko. Yeah, yeah. You're so sleepy. What is it gonna be this night, hmm, Hoko? Are you gonna let me sleep? Do I keep you active enough right now so that you sleep during the night? Sleep while I'm sleeping, I should say, because uh, I also sleep through the morning and <clears throat> wake up during noon normally. Mm -hmm. oh, you're so sleepy. You're so sweet. You make me so happy. You're so happy. I'm always thinking how happy I am for having cats. Bring me so much pleasure, so much happiness. These little silly creatures, somehow so cute. So adorable. With the little noses and the pointy ears, the warm little round paws, whiskers that always tickle me. Such a soft fur. <laughs> All right, then. desk again. Slowly but surely. I don't want to curb too quickly and otherwise it gets really squeaky and I don't want to expose you to that. Let's also take a moment to look at the drawing carefully. Get an idea of what I want to change. What do 
want to add stuff. Hmm. So I'm getting a bit worried that I might have too many ripples. Let's see. Oh, 
keep on nervously looking at my recording software to check if it's still recording. Yeah, I definitely am a bit anxious about that. About drawing and then figuring out, oh, nothing of that has been recorded. Cool. I either have to do stuff again or I can just simply scrap the recording. Or there's just gonna be a weird jump in the middle of the recording and... Yeah. There's, isn't that great? Fortunately so far it that hasn't happened to me yet. I hope it will stay that way. After I'm done with this and uh, these bubble drawings, these underwater bubble drawings, there isn't all that much left that I need to prepare for the tutorial, which feels good. So after that I'm gonna need to make some drawing of some foam. And I'm not planning on focusing too much on foam itself, so I'll keep it relatively simple. And I want to have some simplified um, bubble, soap bubble drawings to give some examples of drawing them in, an, in some kind of like more simplified in some easier way. In a quick way that doesn't involve the whole all of the realistic highlights and reflections and images that are inverted and so on and so forth. Like, we just want to have a simple colorful bubble. I also want to include some ways to draw those too. Where I'm from? I'm from Austria. So you can probably kind of hear a little accent since my native language is German after all. 
I can't hide it. Yeah, as far as I know, streamers from Austria um, aren't all that common. <laughs> you like my country? Sure. There's not that much that I can complain about. And I'm definitely planning on staying here. Of course, Austria also has its flaws, like all countries do. And yeah, that's just how it is. You're a beginner at art. Need tips. Um, what I normally say is... Um, try to experiment a lot. Try different ways to draw. Um, Look up tutorials, and I'm not saying necessarily mine, although sure you can go ahead and watch those too, but there are a lot of different drawing tutorials out there, both in video and image form. Um, learn the basics, and this goes for all sorts of things, but knowing the basics is essential. So in art it would be knowing how light and shadows behave, um, how to draw in perspective, how to think in perspective. Um, then also depending on the tools you're using, the basics of and those two, like how to handle paint, how to handle brushes, or if you use, use digital media like how to use the program that you're using. What tools does it have? And then also experiment with those tools a lot. Figure out what works for you. If you're using digital media, then it's also a good idea to just try a bunch of different apps and see what you like the most. And then, um, of course, it also comes down to practicing. Practicing a lot. Often when you, you ask that kind of question, um, you just hear practice, practice, practice to get better. And that alone, I do have to say, is not quite enough. Because if you just do the same thing over and over again, and you know, that counts as practice, but you won't really get far with it. I'm still streaming, yes. <laughs> uh, today is definitely a longer stream. I'm trying to figure out some stuff and really want to make this drawing look good. Uh, it just takes a while, that's just how it is. And so far, the stream has been going okay. The smaller bubbles has been, have been finished, at least for now. I might change some things about them later offline. We'll see. And as you can see, I moved on to this larger bubble. Just need to stop the recording. Um, so yeah, to compare everything. Well, oh, it's quite laggy. It's weird though because my CPU is is barely being used, but it still is so laggy for some reason. I don't know why. 
Well then, uh, do, 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 do. so again, here's the first drawing that I did, like more of a quicker, more simplified drawing to just get an idea for the general shape that I want to do. Um, and I'm using that right now as a reference drawing, so I have it also in front of me. And I used it in order to draw the bubble that you just saw. Then I moved on to the smaller bubbles that you also partially saw before. Um, yeah, it's just how they look like. I might change some things because I'm just not quite happy with them, but I just can't quite point the finger on why. Maybe it like looks a bit too smudgy, I don't know. And then... This one here, that you just saw. Um, yeah, trying to figure that out. I'm thinking that it looks a bit too... wavy, too... ripply, too wrinkly. So I much smudge some of these ripples together. But other than that, it looks okay, I would say. I, I probably won't be able to get a perfect looking large bubble. I'm also planning on adding a bunch of smaller bubbles behind it. Because, you know, normally those larger bubbles are followed by smaller ones. Don't really see isolated large bubbles. <clears throat> and it also adds more to the general picture. So, yeah. Um, but yeah. So for today, I'm probably just gonna finish just this large bubble and offline I will add the smaller ones. Because I don't want to stream for that long. It's just... It's already getting quite late. Well, yeah. Definitely has been good for my productivity so far, this stream. I'm gonna keep it up. Gonna, however, switch again to standing. And up we go. <laughs> Awkward sleepy. She has been sleeping for the most part, but a while ago she has been in a cut in a crazy cuddle mode. <laughs> so I think she's exhausted from that now. I could do a little kitty break actually. Why not? A short one. Here's the kitty. You wanna go to the kitty? How are you doing? It's meow meow. Ooh, I'm just boo doo boo. So sleepy. Little paw. <laughs> so fluffy. Your cat half of the time likes to cuddle or snuggle. <laughs> it's adorable. 
It really sounds adorable. Also, I need to take a very short break to go somewhere, so we'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Seems like I just came back. Human cat need to be BRB. Kitty, kitty is awake. All right. Definitely looks a bit too wrinkly, I would say. So let's fix that. Especially this part looks weird. It's recording. All right.
Welcome back. So I was asking earlier, right before you had to go, um, did all your f of your exams and tests go well? I remember that you have been doing a lot of those last time. Hope that all of it went well. Good to hear. You have good grades, awesome.
And how are your cats doing? I hope all of them are doing well. Great too, awesome. I'm just glad to hear that cats are doing well. Let's take a moment to again look at it carefully. Let me compare it a little bit to some references.
let's get back to it. Change the shape over here a little bit.
I'm definitely not happy with this section, so I'm just gonna change it completely now. Because I was thinking it was looking a bit too bulges, kinda? I don't know how to describe. Like too bloated or something. So definitely, I think this looks better now. Need to adjust a few things though. I can definitely feel it in my head now that I've been drawing for quite a while. Not that long until I need to force myself to take a break. With taking a break I mean stop drawing for today. <laughs> But I can keep on going for a bit longer. I guess I could sh also fuse those shapes together on here on the side. Relatively soon. I'm still gonna keep for a bit longer, but for not not for that much longer. I'm approaching the seven hour mark at this point. And I'm definitely feeling it in my hand that it's getting kinda it's starting to hurt. That's a sign that I've been drawing for too long, most definitely. Also, I'm getting slowly but surely uh, also kind of tired, I do have to say. Again, almost seven hours of streaming. Surely can be exhausting. Although, when I've streamed, time just flies by. It's actually kind of weird. If I would be streaming, like if I would be drawing, for seven hours straight, like I don't, I don't know if if I could do that offline, like without streaming. A couple of hours in, I would get just so tired of it. Oh yeah, streaming is definitely a very good way for me to just. More productive. That is, um, as long as I don't hurt myself, I'm 
hurt my hand. Otherwise, it will definitely become very unproductive. Something that everybody still has to keep in mind for being productive and optimizing productivity and stuff like that is, you know, taking breaks, taking proper care of yourself, um, of your body and mind is part of it. Just trying to work for as much as possible, for as long as possible. If you just do that, it's gonna backfire and in the end you're actually gonna be less productive because you're gonna have a collapse at some point or you injure yourself or something like that and then what do you do? I'm, not, I'm right now not just talking about drawing. And then I feel I'm saying pretty obvious things right now, but you know it's still important to keep it in mind. Let's stop the recording for a while. Take a moment to look at it again. Hmm. Changing this part definitely was an improvement, I would say. Still not quite happy with this part over here though. I 
I still need to improve this part. The bottom over here looks a bit weird. There are definitely still a couple of things that I need to improve. And then there are still the small bubbles that I want to add. So yeah, I am not able to finish this drawing on stream today. That's okay though. I'm gonna finish it offline. It doesn't really matter all that much. Um, yeah, I would say I'm just gonna call it at this point. I don't wanna strain myself too much. Was it PD? Where are you? She just went outside. Oh well. But I can lure her back inside. Before we go, maybe let's have a last kitty section. Give her some catnip, shall we? Kitty kitty. I just not need to get this here. Shake it a little bit. Coco, there she is, <laughs> and there she is, look, some catnip, mm -hmm. <laughs> she's so excited, oh my gosh, there she is, look, look, <laughs> mm. No, 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 don't hit it. <laughs> you see, it's too. Let's worry. Off. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh, would you look at that? Gotta hit it again. Smash, smash, smash. Sniff, sniff, sniff. What? Why are you going away? What? Why are you going away? Come back up. Come back up here, huh? Why are you, why are you so strange? Hmm? That's a strange, strange kitty cat. Probably can her can hear her make noises. Burr, burr, burr. She's getting excited. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tease you so much, <laughs> but it's so funny. Yeah. Give me a keys? No. Okay. All right, I'll give you some. Now I'll give you some. This towel here is definitely very messy at this point. Give me so much. Ciao. Oh. I hope it isn't too loud every time when I move the camera. <laughs> isn't it great? Mm -hmm. Now Kitty is getting high. 
Druggy kitty. Druggy kitty. Little addicted kitty meow. Also, by the way, don't do drugs. Let your, only let your cats do drugs. <laughs> only catnip, though. Hmm? Think that's right? Do you agree? Oh, it looks like a little branch. Good. <laughs> oh, meow meow. So this is right now some other catnip, some different catnip that I've been using before. The old catnip has started to kind of look, uh, not look, uh, smell weird, almost kind of moldy, and so therefore, yeah, it definitely seemed like it wasn't good anymore. So I threw it away. I'm using this now, which looks very, and it, why do I say look? It smells very differently, very minty, actually. And she seems to be reacting a bit more mildly with that catnip. Like with the other one, she's like, she started rolling and getting aggressive. And this one, she just like, she just like licks it very calmly and um, everything's fine. It's weird, I guess it's more of a mild catnip, a different kind. Are there different kinds of catnip? Oh, now she wants to, now you want to play, huh? Yeah, look at this box, Sammy. Okay, no. I'm gonna make her step into this box. <laughs> Immediately. Get out again. Come on, go. Step into the box. <laughs> Good kitty. Good kitty. Good box kitty. <laughs> you, you, you. Get out again. No, no, no. And. Go. Box. <laughs> This time, just one paw. Hmm? Ah, yeah, not both. <laughs> both front paws. Perfect. I can't quite see her. Let's get it back. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a bit too often. One last time, okay? Get in the box. Tap, tap. All right. <laughs> Now you can keep it. Now she's really in cuddle mode. Don't scratch your chin too much though, please. Actually, I'm gonna take it away and turn it over. Don't want her to scratch too much on me. Sharper edges. Uh, her chin still has some scabs. Don't quite heal, it's just, uh, I don't know. Well, uh, let's go back. There's the kitty. There we go. <sighs> Teasing cats can be funny for sure. <laughs> you were able to hear her and all that. Uh -huh. Yep, no drugs. Hmm. Okay, then that was it. I pretty much exactly am cutting now the seven hour mark, so pretty good. Yum yum. Oh, it has been a nice stream, a nice chill stream. I've been quite productive. Didn't quite get to the point where I was 
wanting to end at, but that's okay. I will do some stuff offline and then... Um, next week... On Wednesday or Thursday, there's gonna be the... Um, gaming stream, as always. Do -do 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 -do. Let me... Open some stuff. Um, I'm gonna continue... Playing... Um, Oh no, oh geez, my rabbits are gone. <laughs> I've been enjoying it a lot. Uh, Twitch starts glitching again. Uh, well, if you stick around a bit longer, then you can stay for the raid, although Twitch has been glitching for you, so I don't know. <laughs> um, it's been fun watching, I'm glad to hear that. So, I'm gonna look... Who's online? Ooh, ooh, nice, nice, nice. I definitely can see a nice target right now. So, there is a show called Kuso Grande, where it's like a, t it's a tournament where a couple of people participate and they have to compete by playing terrible games. That's why it's called Kuso Grande. Kuso, Kuso, from Japanese meaning garbage. <laughs> so garbage games. Um, and yeah, it's always something different. It's very entertaining there. The hosts are really nice. Percent it's on Procentures um, stream and I like his streams quite a lot. Let's just see. Let's check out the streams to make sure that they're not ending right now. Hmm. They have been already streaming for five hours, so they might be ending at this point. But still, I'm gonna stream. Read. I'm gonna catch them. <laughs> So, rate channel, Percentia, start the rate. Alright, thank you a lot for stopping by over here. I appreciate hanging out with you hanging out with me. And as I said, in stream on probably Wednesday, gonna continue the rapid game from, uh, from last time. And if I finish it, Early enough, there might be some other shorter games. Um, then, then next other day, another art stream where I am going to draw something different. I'm not exactly sure what. Maybe another one of these random color palette challenges or some emotes. We'll see. All right. Hope you're gonna have. Hope you have a wonderful day slash night wherever you are and yep, see you next time bye bye and also stopping on youtube side which means i have to force close uh, force close the streamlabs here we go.